everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and we're tailgating tonight. We're going to make up some bacon mashed potatoes. Doesn't that sound good? They're going to go along with our brisket style pork loin roast it's in the oven. Mom just is looking at it. Does it look nice? It's been in for about 30 minutes or so. We're going to get these potatoes prepared. Now I got some really big ones and some small ones. So we're actually going to cut them into chunks to do the mashed potatoes. But first things first, we're going to wash them and we're going to get rid of any blemishes like, you know, some of these blemishes that you don't want. And we're just going to peel those parts. We're negotiating because there's lots of nutrients in these skins and they're really important for us to eat. So we're going to negotiate by getting rid of the uglies and keeping the good stuff. Then we're going to slice them and dice them and get them boiled, okay? So off we go to wash them. Okay, we're back. The potatoes have been washed and mom has been so diligent as to cut off the yucky parts and leave me with the nice skin, okay? So mom is just going to chop them up into nice little cubes. We have some here, just cubes like that. What's that, inch and a half, two inches? Okay, she has about three inches of water in her pot. This is what we're gonna be putting it into. And I'm gonna put some salt in here. These are really large potatoes. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're gonna be so good for uh, baked potatoes. Absolutely. Uh, show them some of that too, yeah? yeah? Okay. Okay, so my mom is handling the potatoes. I'm going to get some of this bacon going. I have a large frying pan, heating, preheating, and I'm just going to get some bacon done. I don't know, how many pieces of bacon do you think you need, Mommy? Four? Let's see. Let's see what we got for We're going to be the light yet again. Absolutely. <laughs> I like to really make sure I use uh, our best non-stick pan when I'm making bacon. So nice to alleviate all my stress. And it's purple. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when bacon sticks to the bottom and it's just pretty different. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna do um, it's all together it's probably four pieces. They're a little bit irregular shape, which I like. But they're a little irregular shape, and I would say it's about four pieces all together. <laughs> yeah they are, they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna crisp off the bacon until it's like all, you don't want it burnt, but you want it all the way crispy, right? Absolutely. Um, so we're gonna let this actually go a little bit lower and slower, just to make sure that it gets nice and cooked all the way. I don't want it to, you know, curl up like this, like crazy. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Mom's trick to alleviate that is she puts some liquid in the bottom of the pan, which is what I'm gonna do right now. That's how you start it. And if you do that, you don't get so many of these, just a few drops, like you don't need a lot. Yep. <laughs> So I usually use tea because I have tea going all the time on the stove. And that just kind of evens things out for everybody. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm just going to add a little more water to this. Just a little bit. If you're in Canada and you get milk in bags like we do, or anywhere else <laughs> in the world, it is the perfect size and shape to hold your open bacon containers. Or so, cheese. Yep. Big blocks of cheese, you can do the same thing. Yep. So if you just save them, rinse them out, clean them, right? And then you can slip it in there, and then I just use an elastic. And not only that, they're thicker than your baggies that you buy. Way thicker, which helps your fridge not smell like bacon. Yes. Okay, the potatoes are ready to go on, so we're going to heat them. We're going to boil these until they're fork tender. So once this bacon is all crisped up, we'll see you. Or, yeah, it'll be done before the potatoes will. So we're going to get the bacon done, we're going to let it cool, crisp it all up, and that's going to go in to those potatoes later. Yes. Awesome. I can't wait. Also, we're going to do the potatoes a little bit differently than we usually do. Oh, that's right. Not with so much butter. That's right. In fact, we're not really going to use any butter tonight. Exactly. We're going to use a couple other cool ingredients that might kick up your Super Bowl party a little bit more too. And it's going to be wonderful with the pork loin roast. Yes. Can't wait. So Make anyway, sure you see it. absolutely. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, so next things next, our potatoes are already fork tender. They've been boiled through. So I'm going to use this handy dandy strainer and get rid of the water. Okay, so I just put them back into the pot. I'm going to use some cream cheese today instead of butter. Gonna make them nice and creamy it's also going to give us that little bit of fat that we're looking for right i don't know three tablespoons ish i think oh i think it's gonna be wonderful i think so too mm, i love cream cheese okay 
I'm gonna put a little bit of milk in here, just a smidge, a whole bunch of pepper. <laughs> I like lots of pepper in my mashed potatoes. I don't like to underdo it. And I really especially like using freshly cracked. Mom doesn't like much pepper in her potatoes. She's giving me this look, because that's not what she does. That's not what her mommy did. But uh, I like it. I always put pepper on my potatoes. But, but not in them. Never I don't know why. It's so I funny don't know. stuff. I just think it maybe doesn't look as pretty. That's why I like it. <laughs> that is why I like it. I like oh, my gosh. And we're gonna put some salt. I'm gonna put regular salt because I'm, I usually require quite a bit. I'm actually gonna take a bit off. Pour some on here. Although you did salt. Yes, but still, potatoes take a lot of salt, in fact. Okay, now, instead of using butter, I know this is crazy stuff, we're gonna add some extra flavor and some extra viscosity and a little bit extra, you know, moisture with some of this awesome stock that we made earlier. Now we made some turkey stock. Fresh homemade. That's probably all you need. A couple tablespoons. Now you're gonna mash it all up. You're gonna taste test, and you're gonna adjust the seasonings as you go. Now my bacon is nearly all the way crispy. I'll show you that too. Just crisped up. That's it. Just like that. Normal, normal. We're going to drain those on some paper towels, and we're gonna crumble the bacon. I want these to be really creamy, so I'm mashing really well. You're gonna have this, the difference of texture. You're gonna have these really light, um, light, smooth clouds of mashed potato with crunchy, salty pieces of bacon. But this looks pretty good, mommy. Let's do our taste test before we put the bacon in. Now, don't forget the bacon is also salty too. I'll eat this one. <laughs> Mmm! It's almost there. It's good. Delicious, right? Awesome. Now, you would, you would think there was butter in there. You really, truly you would. Really would. You really would. So, if you're stuck with calories, you're covering those fat. You think you are? Oh, crunchy? yes. Really? I don't know. Crunchy is pretty fatty, too. But, um, nonetheless, it's tasty. And if you're stuck and you don't have butter and don't fret, you can use something else. Even if you had to, you could use shredded cheese, grated cheese, mm -hmm. and do the same thing. What it does is it just adds that little bit extra fat, that little bit extra dairy, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. And you can use uh, perfect as well. We don't need to make stock for that. But we have to have it and it's so delicious. Absolutely. So this is ready for the bacon. Now the next thing is getting this bacon out and crumbling it up. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, this bacon is nice and crispy. I'm gonna take it off into the burner. And we're gonna drain it on some paper towels on a plate before we crumble it up. The bacon smells awesome, Mom. I like the spices they use in this Bob's bacon. It's kind of country-like smelling. Now make sure you keep your um, bacon fat. You keep it so that you can cook with it later or bake with it. It comes in handy with all kinds of things. Just keep it in a nice little bowl in your refrigerator. Once this cools off a little bit, we're gonna crumble it up. It'll be much easier to do when it's not hot as all get out. And our potatoes are nice and ready. Okay, so I'm gonna crumble up this bacon now. It's nice and cool for me to deal with. Just into little chunks, you know what I mean? It's gonna be awesome. You may never make mashed potatoes another way again. This would also be nice with parsley sprinkled all through it, or even cilantro for that matter. That'd be really nice and tasty too. Even chives, that would be delicious also. That's quite a lot of um, bacon bits. There you go, so we got crumbled bacon ready to go. My pork loin roast is ready to slice. So right before we do that, we're gonna get these potatoes finished. Right, all right. So I've been keeping them warm on the, on the stew. We have those nice mashed potatoes. They're super creamy and awesome. Look at these. Mm. Right? And they're even cooler because they've got those potato skins on there. You see that? Manly potatoes, right? <laughs> All right, so now we've got our, our really crispy bacon. We're just going to pour that in. 
Now I wish we had parsley or something, the fresh chives, but we don't. And that's okay, because we're just winning today. And we're going to stir this bacon in. <laughs> Pork. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> bacon makes everything better. So, try that, mummy. Tell me what you think. Look at how creamy and smooth. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. And that bacon in there. You have to taste this. You really have to taste this. It is so, so I'm sneaking delicious. more. It's just us eating tonight, so. Okay, well then, it's sincere. Oh, can't resist it. So good. They're so creamy and smooth and light. Mm -hmm. And then you get that crispy, salty, smoky, smoky, mm -hmm. sweet, almost bacon. Oh. Come on, Shit. man. <laughs> Come on, you can try this. This is Super Bowl Open food. Open your mouth. <laughs> Here it comes. Here you go. <laughs> um, this is Super Bowl food is at its best. For real, for sure. This the guys is... are gonna love that. Come on, man. And then you know what else you can do? You go ahead and you can put shredded cheese on top. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And instead of the cream cheese, you could use sour cream. Mm -hmm. You could whip it up mm -hmm. if you wanted to, but it's unnecessary. Or you could use all of the above. <laughs> this is where it's at. This is it. So that's how you make bacon mashed potatoes. I hope you enjoy Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, I'm not being, you know, I'm not uh, advertising any team in particular. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm making a call right now. But, however, I really love Peyton Manning. I've always appreciated Me him. too, and my husband, your dad, mm -hmm. used to like that man. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? The Seahawks are on a crazy streak. I hate that. They've been doing ridiculously well. I hear that. Yep, and uh, we've been following them. That's kind of been who we've been following. But uh, I always have to love Peyton Manning. I watched last week. I was so happy that he beats Tom Brady. I'm sorry, Tom, but yeah. They're going to be a force to they are because he's crunch and you never know any given day. Mm -hmm. It's it's a rookie ish against a veteran. Crazy. Anybody's it's gonna be an awesome guess. Super Bowl. <laughs> it's gonna be an awesome Super Bowl. Anyway, make this you want to. I know you do. Make sure you check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is CookingWithKimberly.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Super Bowl brisket style pork loin roast and bacon mashed potatoes. You want this for tailgating on Super Bowl Sunday. Have a good time.